Here we are going to be looking at a nice integral problem from a 1987 Putnam problem. We are asked to evaluate the integral from 2 to 4 of the square root of natural log of 9 minus x all divided by the square root of natural log of 9 minus x plus the square root of natural log of x plus 3 with respect to x. Now trying to solve this problem with the usual integration technique may look very difficult. However, exploring some properties of definite integral can make our job very easy to do. And one of the properties of the definite integral I'm going to be exploiting is known as the King property of integration. That is, if we have a continuous function over the closed interval AB, then the area under this graph here is the same thing as the area under this graph here. Now, if we look at this function here, we have the function f of x, and here we're having the function f of a plus b minus x. Alright, that is the area under this graph here, the area under the graph f of x is still the same thing as the area under the graph f of a plus b minus x. Now what I'm going to be doing in this video is that I'm going to be showing you how the area under this graph is still the same thing as the area under this graph. And I'm going to be doing that using the idea of transformation of graphs. So let's proceed to that. Now let's look at the geometric explanation of King's property. Now suppose we have a function that is continuous over this interval a comma b. Now if I try to reflect this function about y axis, what am I going to have? I'm going to have this function that is I'm going to have f of negative of x. That is the domain is just going to be the negative of all these values here. Okay, that means I'm going to have this to be minus a and here to be minus b. Now I want us to observe something. Now let's consider the graph on my right hand side. That is this graph here. Now you will observe something that the distance from the origin to the midpoint of a and b, which is a plus b over 2, is still the same thing as the distance from the origin to the midpoint of negative of a and negative of b, which is what negative of a plus b over 2. Now you can just see that here. That is the distance from this point to this point is still the same thing as the distance from this point exactly to this point. Okay, now what we are saying in essence is that now let's say we have on our number line we have this to be 0 and we have this to be 1, 2, and here we have this to be minus 1 and we have minus 2. If I want to move from minus 2 to 2, so how many units would I move to the right from minus 2 to 2? Let's see it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So meaning that what minus 2 plus 1. 4 would give me what would give me 2 that is for me to move from minus 2 to 2 I just need to add twice the distance from 0 to what to 2 okay so consequently what I'm saying in essence is that for me to move the midpoint of graph f of negative of x to be at the midpoint of graph f of x I need to add a particular value to this argument here now what would that be now if we should come back here, you will notice that for me to move from negative 2 to 2, I just need to add twice of 2 to negative 2. So meaning that for me to move negative of a plus b over 2 to successfully move it to a plus b over 2, I just need to add twice of a plus b over 2 to, to this value here. So meaning that what? Meaning that if I should add my c, that is my c is just going to be what? A plus b 2 times a plus b over 2 which will give us what a plus b okay that is our c is going to be what our c is going to be a plus b okay so if i should add a plus b to every point on this graph what will i have i'm going to have this function in this graph here now you can see that by the time i added a plus b to every point on this graph here i have what i have this graph here now what I'm trying to say in essence is this. Now you observe that the graph of f of x and the graph of a plus b minus x is symmetric about the point a plus b over 2. Now if I try to move some distance x to the left of a plus b over 2, okay, and I also try to move some distance x prime to the right of a plus b over 2 such that x is still the same thing as x prime that is the distance from here to this point is still the same thing as distance from here to this point you will notice that what the average of 
that two points will still be the same thing as what will still be the same thing as a plus b over 2 okay not only that if i try to make this x prime the subject of formula i'm going to have this to be what a plus b minus x now this function here can still be written as what f of x prime such that what my x prime is what a plus b minus x so in conclusion we can see clearly that the area under the graph of f of x is still the same thing as the area under the graph of a plus b minus x you can see clearly from the graph that the area under this graph is still the same thing as the area under this graph and that's what we understand by the king's property now let's try to see if we can figure out this analytically now let's say we have the integral of a to b of f of x dx all right we want to prove that this integral is still the same thing as this integral now if i try to use some transformation that is if i let my u to be equals to a plus b minus x now of course i'm trying to use some transformation here my du is going to be what my u is just going to be what minus dx and if i draw my transformation box i'm moving from what i'm moving from x to what to u so if my x is a so what will be my u so if i just put a here my u will be b and if i put my upper limit to be b my function here my u is just going to be a that means that i'm going to have the integral from a to b of f of x dx to be equal to the integral from now this is going to be b to a of f of now what is my x if i should make x the subject of formula a i'm going to have this to be a plus b minus u and what is my dx my dx is what minus du now you recall that what the integral from a to b is still the same thing as what negative of the integral of b to a okay so because of this negative sign here i can write this integration as the integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus u du now you remember that u is just a dummy variable i can write this as what the integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus that is if i replace my u to be x i can write this as minus x dx okay so we can we have successfully proved that what the integral from a to b of f of x dx is what is equal to the integral of a to b of f of a plus b minus x dx so we now want to evaluate this integral using the well-known uh, property which is known as the king's property now if we let our high to be equals to the integral from 2 to 4 of the square root of lane 9 minus x all divided by the square root of lane 9 minus x plus square root of lane 3 plus x dx okay applying the king's property we can conveniently write this as the integral from 2 to 4 of the square root of lane 9 minus of course our x is going to be we are going to replace our x to be what to be a plus b minus minus x okay so meaning that this can still be written as the addition of a and b that is the limit that is 4 plus 2 minus minus my x okay all divided by all divided by the square root of ln of 9 minus 4 plus 2 minus x then um plus square root of ln of 4 plus 2 minus x then um plus plus 3 okay so then we have this to be what dx all right so we are just replacing our x to be what the addition of the li limit then minus x okay so here since we know that this is still the same as this so we can write our high to be equals to the limit from 2 to 4 
of the square root of ln of now 4 plus 2 is going to give us 6 then 9 minus 6 will give us 3 so here we have this to be 3 plus x because minus times minus will give us plus then divided by square root of ln 3 plus x then plus square root of ln now if you should check this 4 plus 2 is going to give us 6 6 plus 3 will give us 9 then we have this to be 9 minus x dx now what do you notice you notice that what if i should add this integral to be together that is if i should add this this integral together that means i'm going to have this to be 2i is going to be the integral from 2 to 4 of the square root of ln 9 minus x then plus the square root of ln 3 plus x all divided by the square root of ln 3 plus x plus the square root of ln 9 minus x dx of course you will notice that because they have the same denominator the denominator of this one is still the same thing as it the denominator of this integral then i can add the numerator it's just like if i have a over c plus b over c this is still the same thing as what a plus b over c so that's why i'm having the common denominator to be equals to the square root of a lean of a 3 plus x plus square root of lean of 9 minus x and you will notice that what is at the denominator here is still the same thing as, the, as what is at the denominator so that means i'm going to have this to be what 2i to be equals to the integral from 2 to 4 dx so which implies that what my i is going to be what half of the integral from 2 to 4 dx which is what 1 over 2 if i should integrate dx that means i'm going to have this to be x from 2 to 4 which is what 1 over 2 of 4 minus 2 which will give us what 1 over 2 of 2 which will give us what 1 wow that means that the answer to this integral is what is just one all right thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you click on the subscribe button and also on the notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a video that would be of help to you having known this property you can also try this integral on your own that is the integral from pi over 6 to pi over 3 of dx all divided by square root of 1 plus square root of tan tan x 1 plus square root of tan x and you can also try it for the integral from 2 to 3 of square root of x all divided by square root of 5 minus 6 then plus square root of x be sure you to leave your answer in the comment section box below until then see you later